Hey my loves, you guys are constantly asking for more hair tutorials, hair routines, how I do my hair. Um, and honestly, there's like nothing more flattering than doing something and having someone else ask you, oh my gosh, can you tell me how to do that? It very much so makes me feel like a booty garu. Uh, <laughs> and like maybe I have a clue what I'm doing. I'm so hopped up on medication right now, it's not even funny. I have pneumonia. And today was the first day in several days I felt like getting ready and I thought that it would be a good time to go ahead and show you how I style my hair. I do this a lot in the spring, um, and this is just kind of how I'm currently curling my hair to kind of emphasize the length of it. I don't know why, but in the spring and the summer, I always want to style my hair kind of a little bit more effortless um, and just really emphasize the length because I feel like there's something very summery and warm weather appropriate. I don't even know about long hair. I feel like that doesn't even make sense. I'm going to be using Numi products in this video before anyone calls sponsored. It's not. Um, Numi is what I use on the daily on my hair. You can always use whatever you have, but I do have a really significant, like massive coupon code right now for Numi products down below for you guys. So if you want to use it, definitely use the link below and go give it a try. They are my favorite because they are really inexpensive when you kind of stack sales and when you shop with them at the right time, but they're also really high quality and high performing. A friend of mine uh, used to be in cosmetology school and she said that Numi was, was what they use on their clients' hair all the time. Like, no joke. Um, I thought that was so cool. So I'm going to go ahead and quit rambling and get into it. And I hope you guys enjoy how I curl and style my hair. It depends on whether or not I did a good job with my blowouts. But sometimes I will go over my hair where the little kinks are with a flat iron. And this is the new Mi Mega Star. I always use a flat iron to just smooth out my bangs because I love the look of a nice, smooth bang going into these curls but I have kind of minimal kinking right now so I'm just gonna do like the straightening at the end for now my hair is nice and detangled and I'm just going to use my Chi 44 iron guard and we're going to spray this through my hair so now I'm just going to use my brush don't judge mine I need to clean it out and I'm just going to kind of make sure that's spread evenly throughout my hair this will keep any particular point from becoming too saturated. I'm running my fingers through my hair and it no longer feels damp. So I'm going to take my curling iron and today I chose my Numi Magic Wand in the 19 millimeter barrel size. I love, love this curling iron. So what I'm going to do is I will take a strand from the back here and this may be sort of difficult to see at first. And I'll run my fingers through and just make sure it's nice and detangled. But I'm taking my curling wand and I just have it on 370 degrees Fahrenheit um, and that's as high as I need it. If you had thicker hair or you were taking larger sections you probably want to turn up the heat. So I'm going to start and this is important. I'm going to start well past my collarbone and my shoulders. So I'm really taking like for me the bottom third of my hair and wrapping it away from my face. And I'm holding this for like seven seconds letting it go and this is what I am left with. Now, I don't want to over curl this because I don't want these to look too done. I want them to look kind of effortless. Sorry, I'm trying to put that on my counter. Kind of effortless and beachy. So I'm not going to touch it right now. I'm just going to toss it behind my shoulders. And I go by the 2 2 1 method, which she's such a nut. I swear to God. She and the cat play with each other like they're of the same species. They don't know that they're completely different sizes. So. I'm going to again wrap one piece away from my face and I'll do this one in real time. So we're going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, letting it go. And here's what you're left with. So we're going to throw that one back again. And then here is where the method um, of the one comes in. So I'm going to take another really tiny section and I'm going to smooth it out again. This one's kind of crinkly towards the top. And I'm going to curl this one towards my face. Some pieces honestly curl better than others, and I find that like there's no rhyme or reason to it, especially when my hair is like super clean like it is right now. So I'm holding it just a bit longer than I did before. Let's say like 10, 11, 12 seconds, something like that. So it's been right around there. And this time, since this piece was being stubborn, I'm just going to catch it in my hand. And we're just going to wait like... Eh five seconds for this. And so I'm just going to go on with that method all over this side of my head. And I do focus on one side at a time. So I'm going two away, one towards. 
I think that this looks a little bit more natural than curling everything away from your face, but not quite, not quite as like uh, done up as doing every other piece. Like I feel like sometimes when you do every other piece, um, alternating directions, it can start to look almost sort of like formal, if that even makes sense. Like it's very much so what they do at like prom and stuff because they want the curls to look natural. But I don't know, something about it always just looks really done up for me. So um, I think that going two away, one towards is a nice sort of compromise. And yeah, I'm just making sure not to go very high, if you can tell. I'm just not going very high on my head um, and trying to keep them somewhat low here. And I love the way that these turn out. They're super cute. tip to you guys even though I just did two going away from my face I'm doing the one nearest my face still away so I still curled it away because um, if you want to curl it towards your face that's fine it kind of gives you like a younger and more innocent look but it can also look really artificial what kind of curling it away does is it opens up the face if you curl it towards it's a really pretty look um, but it can close up the face and I think that in the summer this looks prettier so here's what it looks like when it's all said and done you can see I lost a tiny bit of length because my hair is just super long, but you'll see once it's all combed out, it's really not that much. So what I'm going to do is take a tiny bit of my hairspray, not much, and literally I'm just going to go, and obviously we will brush this out, but for now we want to kind of let it sit and cool and just have some time to be curled. I don't know, it just makes it last a lot longer if you don't brush through it straight away. So I'm going to show you how to do this side really quickly and I'll probably just jump off camera and finish the side since it's a lot more hair and you probably already get the gist. But what I'll do, some people genuinely don't understand how to curl away from their face when they switch sides. I used to be the same way. So on the opposite side of our head we were curling this way to curl out. So on this side we're going to curl this way. So does that make any sense? We're just changing direction. And again, we're gonna abide by the two, two, one rules. So I'm just leaving this for a few seconds here and letting it go. So again, here's the chunk going towards my face and I picked kind of a larger chunk. I just do these at random and I think it gives a more natural look when you're not trying to keep each piece the exact same thickness. Hey pepperonis, oh I let go of it, oops. So when they're a little bit thicker, I'll probably hold closer to 10 seconds instead of seven. And again, when they're a tiny bit thicker, sometimes I'll catch them, sometimes I won't. It just kind of gives it a more natural look. Um, so just kind of holding that in place for a moment and letting it go. And that's all I'm gonna do on the side of my head. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump off camera and finish this and I'll be right back. So I wound up doing my nails. So my curls have been sitting for a minute, but you really only need to let them sit for like maybe 15. And now I'm going to start to just really lightly run my fingers through them. I'm not trying to brush out the curls as much as I'm just trying to make them look softer, maybe a tiny bit looser. So you can see here, I'm just running my fingers through. I'm kind of like shaking it up make it a nice and loose um, and then this is kind of what you're left with so it's really soft and voluminous and full um, and compared to this side just looks a little bit more effortless and I just really 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 prefer this so I'm going to do the same thing to the other side of my hair just using my fingers because I think that this works better than a brush I think it gives a more natural, soft look and it doesn't brush out as much curl. So for me, this is an extremely crucial step um, because you can see I definitely have kinks here and there, especially in the front of my hair. So I'm going to take my flat iron, which has been preheated. I think it's preheated like it's an oven. Um, this is one of the best flat irons. I've only been using it for a few days, but I've like tossed out my other one because it's so good. I have it on 410. Um, and I'm just going to run this over the sections that are curly. Can you see how easily it straightens too? It's not even like I'm spending very long on them. It just, it's so great. And you can definitely do this before you curl. 
uh, I think maybe you should just kind of try it out and see what works best for you. For me, I like doing this last if I don't have too much kink going on. If I did a bad job blowing out my hair the night before, I'll have a lot of curl to straighten. But you can see it's just such a fast process and I think it makes a huge, huge difference. I think my curls just look a little bit more done than like this side with all of the kinks at the top of my head that don't align with the curls, if that even makes sense. So, and now that I'm really getting towards the pieces that are going to be going near my head, I'm kind of going over these sort of slow and I'm just bringing the flat iron down and then towards the end I'm curling them towards the face. And honestly, they're not going to lay like that, it just sort of, I don't know why, but it kind of helps the bangs swoop <laughs> and then they just sit really nicely and do the cute flippy thing. So now I'm going to take my Argan Oil, which this just happens to be from Numi as well, it's just what I'm using right now. I do really like this one because it's lightweight and my hair is dry, like dry, 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 dry. So I like to take a little bit of uh, styling oil and I'm going to take a lot here. This is really suitable for all hair types, but depending on your hair texture, depends on how much you'll use. So I've got about that much and this is going to be for one side of my head. So I'm just warming it up between my hands, bonus points, because it makes a really nice moisturizer. And I'm just going to brush this through the hair. Really focusing it here on the ends and smoothing it through. Then bringing whatever's left on the hands up. And I'm going to kind of brush through, make sure it's nice and distributed. But like, look at the difference. Look at how shiny and healthy and just pretty this side looks compared to this side, which is so fine, but I think that little extra like step just, oh god, it makes your hair so hydrated, and if you have split ends like yours truly, you can kind of take what's left and run it right over the ends like that, and that's how I do it. So I'm going to take a little bit more, and I'll take a tiny bit more since this side has a little bit more hair. This will take care of any flyaways, just acts as basically a styling product but also it's going to hydrate the hair and it's healthy for your hair. It's a good product. My hair is getting all over my poor nails. You're just gonna wanna take a little bit more hairspray and you can tease. I have a bit of natural volume. So if I'm doing like one of those little zhuzh measures, um, I get a lot of volume, but sometimes I'll back comb depending on my mood. Uh, back combing is like a once a month maybe thing for me though. So I'm just gonna take a little bit more hairspray and this is going to be the finishing step. Ooh, I'm running out of hairspray. Okay, so then, just especially right here at the bangs, I'm just going to give them a quick brush, make sure they're styled exactly the way I want them, and they'll just stay like that. And here's the finished product. And obviously, you guys will see it in the light in a minute um, when it's not like this. But what I'll do is, especially if I straighten or I style my hair before I do my makeup, is I'll just take a wire headband and I'll kind of slip it right over the head so that I don't get makeup in this, but it's also kept away from the face. It keeps it from getting that um, kind of ugly bump, especially when you've got such a smooth texture going on. So that'll just keep it from getting messy. So pretty simple, right? Um, I hope you guys liked this and found it helpful. If, if you did enjoy, give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already. And until next time, my love bugs, I love you so very much. So, 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 so very much. Um, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.